All right, you guys, today we're check out how to generate foam bubble text here in Adobe Firefly and Illustrator. First, we're going to start in Illustrator and I'm going to try to recreate this bubble text that I created here in Illustrator. So we're going to need to create some text that is rounded and complements the bubbles. So I'm going to go and select the type tool, type in whatever you want, and we're going to go to the properties. Let's go to the font. And I think I went with the Nexa. I'm going to go with the Nexa heavy. I right click on the text, create outlines, and I'm going to make this around it. I'm going to go and select the direct selection tool and you can drag these circles and it's going to make the text more rounded. And I'm going to go to the stroke and increase the stroke to see how it's going to look when it's going to be really thick. But I think I like this way. I'm going to go to object, expand, click OK, right click on group, and I'm going to separate the letters and I'm going to select all the letters. Let's go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite, or right click on Group. I'm going to select Direct Selection Tool, delete these areas, press on Delete, Delete. And here all we need to do is stylize and make it even more rounded. I'm going to do these real quick and I'm going to create some caricatures out of these and make the letter E more prominent. I'm going to make the anchor points rounded, convert and stylize. I'm also going to customize these straight lines so it won't be too straight. From here, I rearrange the letters and I'm going to select these two letters, unite them at the pathfinder and with the direct selection tool, I'm going to make it around it as well. Now let's add the circles. I'm going to select the circle tool, press on the shift plus alt, create a circle. If you want to make a more inconsistent circle, you can go to effect, distort and transform and select a roughen. And here we're going to select the smooth. You're going to decrease the details. It is going to make a more inconsistent circle. Click OK. Now make sure to export it as a JPEG. Now we're going to go to Adobe Firefly. Let's go to aspect ratio, change it to square, content type photo, scroll down, select hyper realistic, and we're going to type it to the prompts. Iridescent foamy bubble isolated on blue sky. Now let's click on try prompt. And here we got some really good looking foamy bubbles. I really like this one. So I'm going to go here to edit, click on use as style reference. We're going to go back to the aspect ratio, change it to landscape. Let's go to the composition reference, upload image, and we're going to go and select the bubble text that we created. Click on open, continue, make sure to increase the strength to hundred percent. I got to go to the style reference, decrease it first. Let's see how it's going to look like. And we're going to customize the prompt text made of iridescent foamy bubbles and click on generate. And we got success. This actually came out pretty good. I mean, I can push this idea on a whole new level. Actually, this one came out pretty okay. I'm going to download it and I'm going to go to the strength, maybe increase it to 100% and click on generate. And here we got even better results and just go to edit, use a style reference and click on generate. By the way, the settings are on zero here and the results are pretty decent. And pretty much this was it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.